Hello everybody, this is the antenna that I'm going to be using today to, to test the, the Wine Guard Boost XT. Now, I didn't want an antenna, I didn't want to use the ultimate antenna because I don't want to knock the lights out up there in Macon. I don't want it to pick up quite as good because I want you to see what this uh, Wine Guard will do. I want to thank my subscribers for helping put my channel on the map. And I know near about every subscriber I've got is antenna videos. Now I know all of you ain't making antennas, you're just watching them. <laughs> and y'all subscribers gotta help me. I'm like Tina Turner. I'm tired of singing Proud Mary every night. Proud Mary. I want to sing a little something different. And I want to make a few other videos. I'm gonna keep making antenna videos. I got a bunch of them lined up to do. And uh, Man, I'm I, I'm gonna do one video that I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that that you won't hear. That it took me a long time to figure out. Well, not a hell of a long time, but a pretty good while. Now here's a little better look at this antenna. See these spider webs on it. This thing's been sitting up. I made it probably near about a year ago, and I made it for campers. And I've sold a bunch of them ultimate antennas, but I ain't sold one single one of these right here. There it is, a little bit better. Look, I hope y'all see it better than I can on this viewfinder. But here's the subject today, this wine guard booster. I'm going to be telling you why I like this booster so good. It's one of the ones I use, and it's one of the ones I use pretty regular. And there's a reason for it. Out here where I peel around at, I got me an antenna out here. And you might want to put you one out here in your workshop. Now, I didn't want mine in no closed up building. You see there? I didn't. I, I wanted mine wide open like this right here. Even if it makes me have to buy more tools later. But let me show you something. See, I, I'm going to use a TV today to show you a channel scan. That TV right there won't change channels with remote. I bought another remote, same thing. So, so I went and got my wife's TV out of her bedroom. She, uh, I had put, that's a smart TV, and I had put that in there for her because she said she was tired of watching midget wrestling. And she thinks I'm buying her a TV out of the goodness of my heart, but I actually need that TV to make this video. This wine guard booster's got something in common with this razor. They both made out of plastic. And you know the deal about the razors. They put their money in the blade. And that's the way that they doing these. Uh, they, you know, some kind of a hard plastic. But their money is inside of this thing. And they saved a buck by making it. But the good thing about it is they pass the savings on to you. And I've put up a bunch of different kind of boosters. I had never got a bad wine guard, and I had never had to go back to one. And I and I can't say that about every booster that 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 I buy. And believe me, I know that uh, you know, you look trying to figure out what kind of booster to buy, and you want to make sure you get one that's good. Well, this one right here is a good one. You hadn't got to look no further. It's a medium gain. Uh, you know, some of them, some of them boosters you buy is is too strong, and you know that's another video there. That's one of the ones I'm gonna be telling you some stuff. But anyway, you hadn't got to go wrong. It right here. This side goes to the TV, and this side goes to the top of the antenna. You know, it's real easy. It it comes with these ties. You know, I told you they didn't spend a bunch of money uh, making this, but I've actually got a car that's got a damn plastic uh, water pump. Now, you know, I mean, you know, plastics come a long ways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this to to this because y'all know I use this thing right here all the time, you know, uh, checking antennas and stuff. And like I say, y'all, you know, I want to repeat. You get on there and, and, and if you don't know, you don't know. You don't know what in the hell kind of booster to buy, you know. Because everybody claims they got the best one and all that. 
but this one right here is, a, is cheap. And I'm going to show you how good this thing works. I mean, it works. You know, this part goes on the antenna. This part goes into the house on your TV. And I'm going to show you one of the reasons I like this right here so good. It comes with this right here. So if your TV hadn't got a USB port, you could stick it in this and plug it into the wall. Now this, I don't even know if this thing even burns a watt. I mean, uh, but anyway, you take this right here and plug it into your TV, and then, I mean, hell, man, that's it. You know, your wire coming in from your antenna, it says right here, antenna. This right here comes out and goes into your TV. I'm kind of looking at this video as a as a go. And here's what I was talking about. I didn't show you that good, but this plugs into the wall if your TV hadn't got a USB port. And I just messed around and made an antenna for me. But uh, I'm telling you, I put up about three of these a week. And I got a way I can make them fast and everything. And, you know, I might let you in on that, you know, one day for too long. I don't know if I want to give all my secrets out, but I got a way that I can make them fast. And this stuff right here, you don't see on the internet. I come up with the whole idea about the laptop and everything, you know. Uh, you know, going to somebody's house. When I go to somebody's house, I'll stand that antenna up and try it. You know, like in some places it don't work good because of trees and power lines. But most places it does, you know, you usually can move it around and get it to work good somewhere, but... And here's one of the secrets. Whenever they find out that you'll come to their house and it won't cost them nothing to, to make sure it works good, I mean, they'll jump all over it. And ain't very many times I've had to take this antenna back home. And you ain't actually got to make antennas, you know, to do this. Hell, you can buy them and do it. And here's the ultimate antenna, y'all. Y'all know about that. I got a video of how to make that on my channel. Uh, I know that all of you don't want to make no antenna. And I just was messing around whenever I made mine. All right, here's what I got here, y'all. I'm 60 miles from making. Those of you that hadn't, uh, hadn't seen none of my videos like this, I got this uh, full bay that I built. You see that? I'm gonna try I'm gonna scan it first. See it right here. That uh I'm not running through the booster yet. Got the cord running right there in the back of the TV. And you remember this little uh remember this power supply I showed you? That's what I got the TV hooked to. Alright, I'm gonna do a scan. And I do got the antenna pointed off of making a little bit. But, uh, you know, because the son of a gun is trying to pick up good. So I turned it off of making. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, but I'm going to do it the same way for both. I don't know if you can see it, but see right here it's got nine channels so far. It's scanning slow because it's trying to find them channels. It knows they there. All right, look here. It's looking like all it's getting is them nine channels. Oleg Cassini, one of her and then, designers. seen that flicker a little bit, so that channel's messing up a little bit now. This is without the booster. All right, I still got the same situation here, but I got the booster hooked up now. Let's see where the USB goes in right here. And same thing. Alright, here we go. Alright, see right here, it's got 19 so far. And man, it's turning the light and I'm fitting that to go. Mm -mm, hold on. All 
I right, see it's got 21 channels so far. All right, that's it. 21 channels. Got to go in, y'all. Look at my security system, how bad it's raining outside. It got us too.